Hello everyone, happy new year. Thank you so much for allowing me to sing for you today. So <clears throat> I'm a little out of my normal voice because as you can maybe tell, I'm sick. <laughs> so yeah, um, the new year started and January 1st came around and they were like, you got to get sick, girl. Um, I have not been sick, so I had COVID back in May um, of 2022. And that was the last time I was sick. I felt like my immunity like boosted after that and I was taking a ton more like vitamins after that because I was just like that like really knocked me out um so I wasn't sick from May until now and and I feel like everyone and their mom has gotten sick with either this like head cold which is what I have terrible flu um and then obviously COVID is still a thing so that's like kind of going around as well but um I was knocked out yesterday my mom actually had it over Christmas or just after Christmas through the new year so I got it from her and um yeah so I was out yesterday so I sound really nasally so it's kind of annoying but I'm feeling a little bit better today, and I thought I would get back onto the weekly vlogs. I told you guys I would do it. I took a nice, like, I don't even know, almost two week break after Vlogmas. Um, my last vlog was obviously Christmas Eve. Um, so today is January 4th, and I am back, baby. I'm back vlogging. And I especially wanted to vlog this week because it's gonna be so special and fun because Kara is coming to visit me. I'm so excited. She really wanted to come visit, and I was like, girl, it's January, Minnesota, are you sure? And she was like, yeah, yeah, I really wanna come see your apartment, I wanna see you. I haven't seen her since I moved. So that was November 5th, she's coming tomorrow, so it'll be two months exactly um, since I had last seen her. So she's gonna come just for like a long weekend. She arrives Thursday night and she leaves Sunday afternoon. So I wanted to kind of vlog our fun weekend together and share a little bit with you guys. So I thought that would be really fun. Um, I don't really know what we're gonna do yet. There's a ton of stuff we can do. Um, she's like, I kind of just want to chill. So we're just gonna like see what our vibe and our mood is um, and go from there. But right now I feel as though I want to make a smoothie and I've talked to you guys about this smoothie before but I thought I would take you along step by step on what I make. This is my favorite every single morning smoothie. Um, I love it so much. I have it daily and it's super easy to make. So what I first start off by doing is, LOL, this is a tray of spinach ice cubes. Um, and I think I explained this in a vlog a while ago. Um, but basically, I always, I couldn't go through my greens fast enough, so it would go bad. And um, freezing the like vegetable does not actually um, like lessen or decrease any of its nutrients. So what I do is I get a ton of fresh spinach. I put it like packed to the brim in this thing um, and a little bit of water and I basically just like completely grind it down to become liquid and I fill up these ice trays and the spinach is good for, I mean, weeks. I go through it a lot faster, but um, I just, it's the best thing that I've ever done, especially because I'm using it only for smoothies. It actually helps the consistency of the smoothie. Um, so it's kind of a hassle getting these out and like, well, it gets everywhere, but um, I've been doing this for almost a year and it's the best hack I've ever done. Um, and I don't know where I found it, probably TikTok, but it's amazing um, and it still keeps all of the nutrients. So I do, um, and these are like kind of small because I had like the leftover bits in this one. So I do like four, five, six, depending on the size of the ice cubes. All right, and then I gotta clean this up. Okay, and then I put in frozen mango. Um, these are from Trader Joe's, and if you have a Trader Joe's Bayou, get all your frozen fruit there. I didn't in New York. Um, the closest one was just a lot farther from me, and um, so I would go to my grocery store and I would spend, like that was the most expensive part of my smoothie. Probably I would spend like 13 to $15 on frozen mango. This is 2.99. dollars You guys, I don't understand. Like Trader Joe's, 
is an anomaly. I mean, they are just the greatest store of all time. So I just, again, I eyeball everything. I probably put a full cup of mango in there as well. And then a banana. So this is super, super not ripe enough for me. I like it pretty spotted. Um, and that also gives a lot of sweetness. So if it's really ripe, I won't put any honey in it, but since this is pretty um, green and yellow, I'm gonna put a little bit of honey as well, just to sweeten it up. Um, the mango has a little bit of sweetener, but not much. So I will do that. Okay, next I use PB2. I am obsessed with PB2. I love the taste of peanut butter. This is so much better for you. Um, less fat, less calories, all of that good stuff. Um, and in a smoothie, I literally don't taste the difference, so it's fabulous. And then the last thing is oat milk. I'm finishing this up. This is the Chobani Oat Milk Extra Creamy. This was really good, but I, but I usually always go with the Planet Oat Oat Milk in just original. Um, I like the taste of oat milk. I think it's super creamy, so it makes my smoothies like incredible. Um, and then also, I don't know what happened. My body's like, uh-oh, you can't drink cow's milk. Um, I got very sick the last several times I ate it. So I'm just on that oat milk stuff, you know? Um, again, eyeballing everything. I'll probably have to add a little bit more liquid, but I usually just do a little bit of water um, to not waste so much milk. But I'm gonna blend this right up. And this is the Nutribullet. And voila, this is the finished product. Amazing, perfect. It's so good, it's so filling, it's my favorite breakfast. So I'm going to enjoy this and continue to online chat with Delta because I can't use my e-credits. So, all right, wish me luck, talk to you soon. Hello everyone. So I wanted to quickly sit down and do a haul with you guys because I got so much stuff in from Parade and I'm so excited to show you. I have seen Parade so much in the last several months um, and I've been actually really curious to try it myself. So I am so excited to be working with them um, this video and they were kind enough to send me a whole bunch of stuff and I wanna show you and kind of do an unboxing haul on the pieces that I got. So I wanted to do some matching sets. I got some matching bralettes with some underwear and I am going to basically unbox them with you guys right now. So I got two different style of bralettes. I will have them on the screen here and then two different style um, underwears. So I'm gonna start with underwear. The first style underwear I got is the Feels Like Nothing Cheeky Ultra Soft Underwear. So these are like a cheeky underwear. Um, first of all, I think they're so sexy, like this little mesh moment, I love it. I just got it in black, which I just think is so great to have. I got it in a fun green, this like Christmas green, it's called mistletoe, incredible. Also, it's like a beautiful tealy green with my eyes come on now also got it in this beautiful like violet color which i also think is just so stunning like what vibrant fun colors just by feeling them in my hand i already can tell they're like so super soft um it's the feel like nothing line so it has like a very very thin uh seam which is gonna be great if you want to wear it in like leggings or biker shorts or even jeans um it's gonna not have that panty line which is obviously so helpful to have if you're not a fan of thongs and you want to wear something with a little bit more coverage this is gonna still give you that like no line look but you'll have a little bit more coverage might be a little bit more comfortable for you i personally really like a thong so I also got some thongs in the same colors this is the feels like nothing thong it is ultra soft as well and so it's the same similar material it has more coverage on the front the band is super thick but like very sturdy so you know it's not gonna roll down which is my biggest pet peeve um, so I got it in that fun mistletoe color I also got it in black okay now let's talk bralettes and boobies as you guys know I do not shy away from talking about the fact that I have a much bigger chest I've always had larger boobs it's always been something with bras and clothes that I really struggle with because they're so large and I'm a petite person I'm only 5'1 so it's kind of hard for me sometimes to find bras that are really comfortable and that fit and most importantly have support so when I tried some of these on I was so freaking impressed the support on these 
is like unmatched. So this is the Dream Fit Scoop Bralette. It is also in the ultra soft material. So it is like butter, like I can't even describe to you. It feels like absolutely nothing is on. I'm wearing it right now, no joke. I feel like it just has so much support and it's so comfortable. I genuinely feel like nothing is there. Like you cannot even see the straps of this through a very tight, like fitted top. I just feel like you can't even see the line here. My other bras you can totally see through and it just feels like they're lifted but it doesn't feel like they are in pain or like getting pushed up against me. Um, I just feel like the wear is so freaking comfortable and it looks so good under a top. And then the second type of bralette I got is the Support Lift Scoop Bralette. So this one has a little bit more coverage. This more to me feels like it's kind of like a sports bra like support. So it doesn't have the adjustable straps. It doesn't have a clasp in the back. Like this one fully has a clasp where you can make it tighter or looser. Um, the straps also are adjustable. So this is more of just like a throw on underneath something more athleisure. Um, but you also don't have to worry about not having support. It is so soft once again, but like a very thick band that I just know is gonna like perfectly hug my body. Of course, I have a coupon code for you guys that I am so excited to share. I will put it on the screen here. It'll also be in the description box below. I will also put a link to go shop at Parade. I will also link below all of the items that I personally purchased. I got a few more colors that are really fun, so you can go ahead and shop everything that I did. So happy shopping. I hope you guys find some stuff to get the ladies all lifted and supported, and I will see you guys in a second. Look who's here! I made it! She made it north to the cold Arctic. Very cold here. We yeah, don't have snow in she New doesn't York. have any snow in New York. She's like, I haven't seen it all year. So, Kara's here, as I told you. And all weekend. What are we gonna do today, Kara? We're gonna go sightsee. Yes. And see all the nice houses around and. Go to a bookstore, maybe. Yeah, and. Uh, get sushi? Well, we're, we're gonna, gonna make sushi, sushi, so we're gonna get the fish for it. Yeah, I don't actually know. We're gonna and drive And we'll just around. see what else happens. So come along on our weekend and our day. Yay! Yay. Okay, bye. See you in a second. Kara Cam. And Carrie. We're going to, we just went to the bookstore, and we almost ate shit because we're in fucking booties. The and idiots it's the that... middle of winter in <laughs> Minnesota, so. Didn't think about that. Um, the roads are icy. The roads are icy. The, the sidewalks are icy. But um, we're gonna go to the cathedral now. Wait, I got some stuff for the bookstore. Oh yeah, what'd you get the bookstore? Okay, I got Dominique Ansel's Everyone Can Bake because uh, I'm a chef. Everyone can bake. Everyone, yeah, everyone can bake. And I need to step up my baking game. I do baking for my clients and I just want to, can we turn my heater off? Oh my I God, did. So Put your window down. I told you it's warm. Carrie it's either has fun. it freezing it's cold. Us. Don't blame me. <laughs> Told you the sun <laughs> is hot here. Holy crap! Did I not tell you that the sun is hot here? Sun is hot, but my ass is hotter. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault. The, the temperature control, it's 64 degrees. Her apartment right is freezing, her car is beyond toasted. I'm turning off the heat. Anyways, we need to find a happy medium. I I'm think trying. our I think our happy medium. I've only been doing this for two fucking days. Doing what? It's a TikTok sound. Oh, I love him. Anyways, I also got this little book. <laughs> I'm not even gonna like Mia Thermopolis. begin to pronounce. Well, that's a compliment. Well, the hat. Post hair, post makeover. Yeah, because Lily's a douchebag. So are you Lily in this? I would never make fun of your hat <laughs> and your new haircut. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, I got a little. Although we have made fun book. of your haircut when you look like Lord Farquaad. Insert photo here. <laughs> you can insert a photo. Can I? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. That's just. Let them all know that that is all three of us girls have just have agreed that whenever Kara gets the itch to cut her hair, which is frequent, often. 
we say, this is our bath. We just send those photos anytime she has the inkling to and she goes, thank you, I needed that. And we shut it down. Yeah, because she gets, I wanna cut my hair again. I think I'm just gonna give myself a trim. Let's Listen, what time. really did me in was watching White Lotus and watching Audrey Plaza, her yes. hair, and then also uh, the- Aubrey, Aubrey, Aubrey. No, it's Audrey. Aubrey. Is it Aubrey? Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and, and Lucia. I don't know. I haven't watched this whole season. Um, her, I think I've been cutting out the top of my head this whole time. <laughs> it's going to be the most chaotic. And but... Lucia, her haircut. But then I saw a TikTok that was like, if you think you can pull this haircut off, no, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. Don't do it. This is the idiots that we are. Just sheer dummy dums. Shifting along. Boop, 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 boop. Beautiful. So we are at WA <laughs> Frost and Company. It's a cute little bar. Very cute. Crumble. Yeah, we love that. Kara's gonna do this in her house one day. Okay. So then we have a, a flight of wine. The white, the white flight. <gasps> what a rhyme. We've got Gru Gruner, but. Veltonier, a blanc, and a cucumber. It's dirty right. for a cucumber. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. First one in. Sorry. We're new here. It's light. It's very crisp. A little bit of an apple. When you say an apple, I'd say cucumber. <laughs> really? That's the cucumber. Grasshopper. <laughs> Okay, Chef Kara in the kitchen. What are we making for dinner tonight? Sushi! I'm so excited. There is a um, fresh fish, fish market store here called Coastal Seafoods. And so I took Kara with me and we picked out some sushi grade salmon and tuna. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna just make that over rice with a side of garlic at a mame. Yummy. So she's teaching me how to make the sushi rice so and make it all the time. Form it and we're gonna cut the sushi and do all that. So come along. Cheers. Oh cheers. <laughs> cheers. Oh my god. Kara you outdid yourself. Does it look good? It looks that? so good. Okay you guys we did all of these. Kara taught me how to form the sushi rice, the in a non-professional way. <laughs> in a non-professional way, yeah, everyone. This is for fun. Kara's a chef, but like this is not for a fun. sushi chef. Exactly. No one's gonna be nice to her. She really killed it. So we've got some just regular seaweed, soy sauce. I made like a spicy soy sauce. This is like garlic, garlic edamame. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm, I'm literally salivating. <laughs> I'm like so happy. Yay. Cheers. Cheers. Do you want me to re-say it? Yeah. <laughs> what were you saying, Carrie? This is the best out of my <laughs> This is the best out of mommy I've ever had. That's so crazy. Thank you. <laughs> it's so good. It's good. It's the best I've ever had. Hello, we're back for day two. Karen and I drank a little too much last night. We're feeling okay. I'm feeling better right now. How are you feeling? I was so rough when I woke up this morning at 7.30 a.m. Yeah. My head is pounding, chug like three waters. We haven't eaten and it's noon. Well, yeah, so we're gonna go get food right now. We're gonna go to this place that I've never been to. It looks really good. It's called the French Hen. I think so. And then we're gonna go do a whole bunch of other things, so come along. Okay, this is a pancake. <laughs> okay. It's thick too. And she got a quiche. We got a quiche. We also got cold brews, cheers. Lighting looks great. 
And I'm sending all of my Amazon links to Kara. Because I'm going to decorate my apartment like it's here. Exactly. Oh, love me some food. Okay, we just came from brunch and it was all it was good. Not incredible. They forgot her mimosa and my hash browns. And the mimosa was kind of orange juice. And then we went to Great Harvest and got a cheddar. We grew up with Great Harvest in our town, so we were so excited when we saw this. So we got a loaf, we're gonna make grilled cheese and tomato soup tonight. Uh -huh. And then we went to a store called, what's it? What's Jenny it? in the City, it's so cute. Jenny in the City, that was the name? Yeah. I in, love that name. It's in St. Paul. And how adorable is this? I don't know, I don't know, like jewelry? Jewelry, Um, cotton balls just to have out on your counter. Yeah. Anything you want, little trinkets. Adorable. Would it be weird Matches. if put salt in here? No, just wash it. I got the same thing. Love so. that. I also got this butter dish. Can you say butter? <laughs> Is butter a carb? Is butter a carb? How cute. I got a bug, I got a bug, I'm a little sunshine. You got a butter in, that's gonna put your butter in. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Quick little six bucks. Okay, so we're at this market, and basically you pay for the ounce on this card. That's where credit card is linked to that. So we got some sparkling wine, some Prosecco on tap. They have some wine here, cider, seltzer, and then a whole thing of beer. Like, this is so neat. Do you have a logo on yours? No. Hey, so we got this bread today from Great Harvest, which was like a char white so cheddar white garlic. Cheddar garlic bread. So we made grilled cheeses and we had tomato soup from Trader Joe's. <gasps> yeah, Kara's still struggling. I want to vomit. Okay, well, don't do that when you're about to eat this delicious food. Let's try, ready? <sighs> delicious. Amazing. All right, bon apple tea. <laughs> Last day here. Rock, Rock on. on. She's leaving. Taking her to the airport. Didn't I do it for you? Didn't I do it for you, Kira? You don't want to stay. You don't want to stay in Minnesota. Gotta go back to New York. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, we'll see you later, Kara. <laughs> Bye. Bye.